From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. Finance Minister, Prime Minister, Minister delivers the budget communication in the House and tells members that despite major setbacks caused by Hurricane Dorian and the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, he believes they have the situation under control. This new budget represents our plan to move from restoration to growth. It will build upon a new foundation and accelerate our national recovery in the process. We are still contending with grave uncertainty today, but my administration's ultimate objective has not changed. We may have been diverted, but our direction is still clear. To grow an economy that produces jobs, opportunity, health, and wealth, for all Bahamians. House members in the country now looking over the budget numbers. Among the highlights, no general new taxes, tax concessions in several areas, tax increases in targeted areas, and major health upgrades are projected also. The Prime Minister also revealed plans to borrow more money for various projects. The deficit for the coming fiscal year projected at over $950 million. The national debt could be over $10 billion by the end of the period. The opposition PLP's reaction to the budget, no plan, they say, no big idea, and they say it ignores the growing debt crisis. Tribune has a complete report on the budget communication. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The budget now heads to the Senate, where it will be introduced today. Debate begins in the House Wednesday next week. Nearing the end of the first week of those corona lockdowns in Andros, the Berry Islands, and Cat Island, Prime Minister Min is telling the House he's been in touch and there are no major issues on any of those islands at this point. Health officials continue to monitor the recent numbers and they continue to trend downward. 25 total cases reported for Tuesday, 47 persons in hospital, 3 in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. Police looking into what is believed to be another suicide case. A man found hanging from the ceiling of a house in Johnson Terrace here in the capital. People are still trying it. A woman fined $5,000 for trying to use a fake corona test result to go to Grand Bahama. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny today. Highs in the low to mid-80s. 83 at Freeport. 84 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, another mass shooting incident in the United States. Nine persons killed and several others injured when a man opened fire at a railway facility in San Jose, California. More than 230 mass shooting incidents have been reported already in the U.S. this year. Pressure continues to mount to have the Olympic Games scheduled in about two months in Tokyo canceled. Japan's doctors' union now urging the government and the IOC to cancel the Games due to the COVID-19 situation in our country. Increasing cases there, forcing the government to put new restrictions in place as of today. Cases are going up again in India. Health officials there are very worried about that situation. Tribune's gas track of prices for Thursday, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubus $4.89 per gallon in the capital. No changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Updates on the Tribune Sports on DeAndre Ayton in the NBA 
and John Quell Jones from the WNBA. Get the latest numbers on them and the rest of the NBA playoffs. There's a Major League Baseball update. Jazz with a sore ankle. He will not have to go on the DL, but he didn't play for the Marlins yesterday. A preview of the French Open tennis tournament and an NFL update. Focus on the Miami Dolphins. Updates on international soccer and cricket also in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, you can stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.